This comes from Luke chapter 19. Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through. A man was there by the name of Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and was wealthy. He wanted to see who Jesus was, but being a short man, he could not because of the crowd. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore fig tree to see him, since Jesus was coming that way. When Jesus reached the spot, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, come down immediately. I must stay at your house today. So he came down at once and welcomed him gladly. All the people saw this and began to mutter, He has gone to be the guest of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood up and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, here and now I give half of my possessions to the poor. And if I have cheated anybody out of anything, I will pay it back four times the amount. Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house. Because this man too is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what was lost. Amen. So today is going to be a little different kind of sermon. My sermon today is going to be in character. I'm going to become the biblical character of... Well, I'm not going to tell you. You have to watch and see if you can figure it out. I am the master of making old things new. And I can do this because of an excess of wealth. Now, when I was growing up, I was not wealthy. I grew up poor. I grew up going into the stores and stealing flour to bring home so that my mother could cook bread and that bread would last us an entire week. I did not grow up in a great big house. My house had dirt floors. I didn't have a bedroom or a bed that fits. Instead, all of my brothers and sisters laid in the bed together, excuse me, on the floor together with no bed. But now, now it's not the same. Now I don't rely on bread. I pay my servants to go to the store and get the finest cuts of meat. Now my house is huge and there's not a single dirt floor in it. One of my closets is as big as my old house. Old clothes, old work, old life, all of it has changed into new, new, new. And now, I don't have to work that hard. I don't beg for money. People beg me for money. I don't have to worry about how I'm going to survive. I have a new life, and I am a new man. Who am I? I am Zacchaeus. I am a new man. Now in my rich life, I've changed. To tell you the truth, I wish I could stop cheating people like I have been. 
My goal was never to be a tax collector. The reason I became a tax collector is because I wanted to provide for my family. When I grew up, my mom had to feed us bread. My dad was embarrassed that he couldn't bring enough money home to provide for his family. I just, I didn't want the same life for my family. I wanted something different. I wanted my kids to not have to go through what I went through. So when the Romans came and offered me the job of becoming a tax collector, I accepted it. That meant that I'd have to cheat against my friends? Well, okay. I'll do it so that my kids can eat. That meant that, that I had to work for my enemies? I didn't care. I was going to become someone, become someone important. But now, my life and the things that I do are shameful. When people say, who is Zacchaeus? They don't say, oh, he's a hard worker, he's trustworthy, a warm-hearted kind of guy. When they talk about Zacchaeus, people say, oh, he's a sinner. He's evil. He's a traitor. I don't want to hurt my friends. I don't want to hurt my people. My life and my job caused the same kind of problems that I grew up with. Where before I was a slave to poverty, now I'm a slave to Rome. I've wanted to quit. I've wanted to, but it's hard. I can't just go to my boss and say, I quit. Every time I try to, I get promoted. And now, now I'm the chief tax collector. And the chief tax collector can't quit. I can't stop collecting taxes. The Roman government would kill my family. It's impossible. I can't quit. And to tell you the truth, I like nice clothes and a nice house and nice food. If I quit, I'd have to give up all of my nice things. And I don't want to do that. My job as a tax collector causes my people's lives to be a mess. My community is a mess. And to tell you the truth, my life is a mess. I feel stuck. I feel like I can't escape. I feel like I have to stay in this life forever. Until one day, I heard this word, Jesus. When I heard it, Excuse me, I am one of the top, most powerful people in my country. And I've never heard of this name, Jesus. But one day, all around my town of Jericho, people were talking and saying this name, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. People left their stalls in the market to go meet this man. People left their chores to be done at home to go and see this guy. As the people walking by stopped and I said, what's going on? I said, I'm going to see Jesus. And I didn't understand. I didn't know what was going on. I stopped another person. I said, who's Jesus? And I said, Jesus is this prophet. I didn't know who he was, but I went ahead and followed the people. And there were people, crowds of people everywhere. And I couldn't see over them, and I just thought, 
I've got to see this guy. And I spotted a tree and I went ahead over to the tree and I climbed it. And even though it wasn't safe, I climbed up on the tree, I leaned out on this branch and looked over. Trying to find Jesus. Then I looked down. And you know who I saw there? Jesus was right there looking up at me. Jesus looked at me and he said, Zacchaeus, I'm going to eat at your house today. And I was in shock. I climbed down the tree. I went with Jesus. And as we were walking, I could hear the people say, Zacchaeus, Zacchaeus is a sinner. Jesus is going to eat with him? Maybe Zacchaeus is begging for Jesus' mercy. Jesus should not be eating with him. Now, if I listen to the people, honestly, I would agree with them. I am a sinner. I am a terrible person, but... But Jesus commanded me, and I didn't have time to think about it. I just had time to obey. If I listened to the people, instead of going to my house, I probably would have went and hid and cried, realizing that I am not worthy to be with Jesus. But Jesus did. He went to my home and wow. We talked and talked and talked and I cried and I cried tears of joy. The whole time that we were eating together, I felt, yeah, I'm a sinner. Yeah, I'm a bad person. I felt guilty, but... I felt like I could change. That now that my wealth could be given back to the poor people, that those that I've cheated against, I could pay back four times more. And I told Jesus I would do this, and he stood and said, Zacchaeus, salvation for you and your family has come today. Who? Who am I? A person who hates life, a person who cheats against his friends, a person who is a traitor to his community, a person who forgets what is important, who is selfish and doesn't know how to stop. A person who thought they were stuck forever. But Jesus said I was free. Jesus gave me salvation. And now, now I'm still the chief tax collector, but I bet you have never heard of a chief tax collector whose community earns back more money than they give. Now I'm a master of changing old things into new. People have been homeless before. I have bought them new homes and new lives. Kids who used to run around town, now they have a new family. My family. People who used to go and steal from the stores now have new jobs. Being able to be kids because their families can afford it. And what else is new? Me. I 
no longer hate my life. Now I have friends. I have people who understand me. With Jesus, all old things can be made new. Amen.